Hello everyone! Welcome to my series of mini lessons. My name is Jessica and I'm so glad that you're here today. Today we're going to be looking at Playful Puppy by Linda Nyameth. Let's get started. <laughs> Okay, so Playful Puppy is a great little character piece. You can really hear the puppy stumbling around on all of the accents and with all of the uh, dynamic contrasts in the song. It's a really, really cute little song. So uh, to start off, you'll notice that you start with a rest, which means that the rest of the line really feels like it's moving into the next measure all of the time, which really helps feel like that little puppy is kind of moving forward and playing around. So this little bit where you're going one. Feels like it's moving forward without that first beat there. Uh, the next thing that you notice is that you're going to want to sometimes try to emphasize that top note, okay? but don't do that. Okay, You don't want to be emphasizing the last beat of a measure, and in this case actually there's an accent on the first beat of the next measure, so that's a really clear uh, note to you that you need to be moving towards that accented beat. There, that's where you're landing. Okay. Uh, now there's lots of dynamics in this song, so you're starting off mezzo forte, landing on that accent, and then piano. Now the thing to remember about accents is that they are relative to the dynamic that you're playing. So if you're playing piano, you're not going to play an accent that loud, okay? Because uh, it's not relative. If that was forte, then that accent sounds like it belongs. So in piano, your accent's going to sound like this. It's kind of just a little more emphasis than a piano dynamic. Um, what else do we have in this tune? Uh, oh, the very ending is important, and also I find very tricky for a lot of kids getting this little chord jump here. That's probably the hardest part of the whole song. I recommend that you practice this. Just practice that little measure over and over again when you're working on this piece. The rest of the song comes together really easily. Your left hand is alternating between two chords for the most part. But it's this here. That's the hardest part of the whole song. And then the very end, it says tail wagging. So I love when composers do that and they write in exactly what they want you to be thinking about when you're playing this section. So it says piano, tail wagging. You can hear the little puppy's tail wagging there. And so you're just rocking gently back and forth with your hands when you do that. Okay, so I hope that was uh, a little informational for you and enjoy your practicing.